Right, bit of a state of emergency. I've just uh, had Mario come through and uh, I get him going, ah, you didn't tell me there's oil in these. And I said, well, th there isn't, unless you've taken apart the gearbox. And uh, apparently he may have taken apart the gearbox. Yeah. So there's a lot of oil and then oil spill in inside the unit. I don't know how these <laughs> things work. I'm just I'm doing. Morning. It's been seven hours. Well, Mondays are one of the busiest days of the week because you've got Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday morning. Uh, orders to process. Now, Mike's away and there's a considerable lot to do. So Mike uses the paintball side, I do speedy fight, so, speedy fight, speedy fight, Ooh, speedy feet side, and you've got two businesses there. Then you've got obviously all the stuff that relates to all those things, such as all the incoming communications from customers asking about certain types of products, the, what those products can do, specifications, all that sort of business, uh, returns, servicing, both sides so when one's away you have to sort of cover all that off one of the things that Mike doesn't do is do any of the communications with the speedy feet stuff in terms of emails so I've got emails for those to do emails for modern combat sports and here comes noisy boy there he is so you right? yeah I'm good why do you look all sort of disheveled and wet because yeah, it, it was raining do you not come in the car yes but it's still it's raining if you don't walk I'm going to crack on with that this morning because, and I got a meeting at 11 and then I got the officer path at 20 to 5, 20 to 5. Um, so I basically got no time to do anything essentially because I'll be picking and packing for like a mentalist for about three hours probably. Good morning guys, I'm back at Speedy Feet HQ and I'm currently in the workshop because there are a lot of wheels that need to be fixed, so now I will focus on the V11 that we have received because it's a customer, so this is a warranty job. So I will go out for a for a ride um, just to get the battery low because it's it's doing a bit of a weird tilt. So I will try and figure out what to do, and then obviously communicate with InMotion so we can figure out how to fix this machine so that we can ship it back to the customer and and he can continue riding. V10F going out to a customer with free stickers. Unfortunately, I forgot my Cali helmet, so now I need to use the, the old helmet. So, um, not, not ideal, but at least this is a slightly warmer helmet, so that's one positive. Oh, that's good, you're alive. Uh, I am, I am alive. So. Yeah. Mario's just turned up at my house to get the work phone. So, yeah. I'm back at Speedy Fear HQ. I managed to get rid of one bar on the V11. Well, right. I have just finished picking and packing um, and I've got a meeting at 11. It's now three minutes past 11 and the phone's ringing. I will catch you later. I'm back on the V11 because I need to get it under 50% battery. So I need to continue riding. So I'm in the forest now. I have not been to this bit where I'm currently. So what is the chance that I would get lost and then I need to call Ian to come and rescue me? I, I would say it's a pretty low chance. It's got a call to say uh, they're running a little bit late, which is good. They're gonna 
ring me back in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna set up a Teams meeting so they can screen share. Perfect time to make a cup of tea. <sighs> Desks in the way. Got rid of a lot over the weekend. So I came in here on Saturday, didn't film any of it, I don't think. No, I didn't. And got rid of loads of stuff, so. Slowly getting sorted out, this place. I'm out of the forest because it's way too muddy and, and damp. So I don't want to put the V11 at more risk than necessary. So I'll just continue uh, riding on the quiet roads. And that's one of the things you don't really appreciate is even moving forward and upgrading stuff, like all the office equipment and stuff like that, there's actually a massive overhead. I mean, so stripping that place down, it took just over half a day to strip, to strip it all down. Right, gotta go. So as I was saying, there's always an overhead that sometimes you don't account in. So you get some new tables and chairs and drawers and stuff. It's like, yeah, sweet, get all that, just bring it in. And it's like, ah, got to obviously build them all, put them all in place and then move all the old equipment out. And then you've actually got to get rid of the old equipment and put it somewhere else or scrap it or whatever. So yeah. And because it's lunchtime, I went to the shop to get Ian some food. So uh, yeah, that's, that's multitasking. As you can see now, the battery on the V11 is less than 50%. It is one o'clock just coming up. The meetings are now finished. And now I'm on to answering emails and also liaising with suppliers for parts and warranty work and things like that. And shipping companies because of the stuck stuff we've got trying to clamp them down on actually giving me a, an ETA. Need some times, full stop. Not really that good of an ETA, is it, to pass along to people? So I've said, need some times, question mark, please quantify this. <laughs> Get there one day. I'm back at the workshop with the V11. It is currently on charge. Uh, I got it down to about 42%. So now I've put it back to charge. So we need to get it fully charged um, and then I'll try it again and, and see if it actually works fine or not. Broken wheel number two. I feel like I'm a midwife just helping this, uh, this wheel come out. As you can see, this is a monster, a lovely, lovely monster. This monster has definitely seen better days. I need to double check the email and see what actually needs to be fixed. But it does seem like it's gonna be a, a big job. Okay, these I'm pretty sure are Clark cheat pads. Oh, hello. Wow, okay. Oh, wow, it's like a bendy, 3D printed, but bendy. Nice and soft and squidgy. Nice. Okay. Gonna have to test those bad boys out, aren't we? We got that one, that one, and these. Like it. Looking good. Wow. Okay, we will try them out. Looking good, thanks very much for sending those. That's sent to us to try out, so we'll do a video on those for sure. So the issue with this monster is that the the shell is cracked. Pretty much there are no screws, all, all the, almost all of the screws are missing. Um, with the control board, I uh, haven't seen this before. That's quite quite an interesting extension of the motor cables. Um, and also, on the battery, I don't know if you can see, but um, this looks like uh, corrosion on the metal bit, probably like water damage. So, it will be interesting to see if, if these batteries actually work. Um, yeah, this uh, plus these bits are missing, and you can also see that there is some dead spiders, or like a spider skin in there and there's also one on the other side so this wheel has been 
in a basement for uh, quite a while. I will go and have a word with Ian and see what he thinks that we should do about this wheel. Dyson's back, fixed apparently. One good thing is that I just checked the voltage on the batteries and there are all around 96, 97 volts, which uh, means that they're all right. But now we need to see how the rest of the machine is actually. I just plugged in one of the batteries and at least the, the wheel turns on and also we have a front light. I mean they literally had it for like two hours so they received it and that same day I got an email two hours later saying it's been shipped back. So they must have just plugged it in and pressed a button. Hmm. Oh. In a minute, should boot up once it stops. Okay, that's working. That's pretty good. Nice. I have reassigned the 100 volt monster to Ian, uh, and then he'll he'll decide what he uh, what he needs to do about it because I don't think we have the original monster shells. Um, so that will be, be an interesting way to how we can fix it. But now I'm on to the next wheel. Okay, I am off. This is the works phone, which finally I can leave on the desk as I go. I don't, don't have to answer it then. Mike's back in tomorrow. So we're off, aren't we, Brucey? Off to the osteopath. Of which Mario wants to go to one now. Yes. Because he's got poorly back, back, knees, back, problems. back yeah. neck, everything, toes, everything. Arms. Yeah, just. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's get a. Oh, I already clicked. Oh, already clicked it. So, oh, although I can, I can. Uh... Oh, that's gross. Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. Right, I'm going. Oh, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> oh dear. I hope that came up on camera. Mm, that's gross. Yes, it just pushed past. Good workout. When we start our running and weightlifting yeah. instead. Yeah. I'm carrying this, so I can't. Uh, see you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Have a good evening. Yeah, see, you. You. see you later. I've just taken wheel number three out of the box, and the owner likes football. And how do I know that? Any Liverpool supporters out there? I, I don't really follow football, but my dad likes Liverpool, so there is that. Just a quick update on the VTNF, I have swapped the boards, this is the old board, so I fitted a brand new motherboard and now I'm waiting on InMotion to activate the, the serial number of the new board uh, so then we can actually use this wheel properly because currently um, it's, it's flashing red um, and that's when you put a brand new board some, uh, with InMotion stuff, sometimes this happens. So now we're waiting on InMotion to activate the board because uh, we, we gave them the old serial number and then we gave them the new serial number so they're gonna do their own magic there so hopefully tomorrow morning uh, when I come back in the workshop uh, they would have done that swap so I can uh, I can reassemble the wheel back together and then we can ship it to the customer latest creation from Little Ruby, Hugo Ashley, because she said, here you go. And I said, oh, Hugo, is it? And she goes, actually, he could be called Hugo. To which I said, Hugo Ashley, get it? He's happy because he's got to come and do some schoolwork. Okay, loves it. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday and I'm back at Ian's place and today 
we should be installing a door um, so that'll be that'll be exciting so today my task is to dig this place here so that we can put some bricks and make a platform and then we'll need to get rid of these bricks and then we can put a wall in there it's actually quite a lot of work but the weather is really nice so i will go back to the shovel As you can see behind me, so far we managed to dig a pit and remove all the brickwork so we can now insert the door and, and where the pit is we'll be putting some, um, some bricks and just, just create a little platform so that Ian can, can walk through there. So now we need to actually install the door and the thing is the weather is very cloudy so it might rain which is not going to be fun. We've just put in the door and now we need to... actually I don't know what we're going to do. I'm back in Michelin and the garage project went well, so now I'm going back to my speedy feet work. So Ian borrowed my GoPro and now the SD card isn't working properly. So I need to format it, which will delete all the files that he has recorded today. Mm. We lost the GoPro footage. Not we, but GoPro lost it by wrecking the card again. So I'm going to do a quick update, try and remember what was recorded. So we came in, we said hello to Mike, We Toby was with me and he went out and got lunch instead of Mario. Phil Mario coming back and the fact that he had dirty trousers, not because he had an accident in the toilet department, but because he'd been out doing work at the garage, which you would have already seen. The bank account for the shop in ross on Y has come through. We are taking over the domain today or tomorrow, most likely within 24 hours, so we can get that up and running. Uh, line someone up to be shop manager just waiting on the confirmation of that one and a few more details got the debit card through setting up uh, the internet connection now we got a bank account and debit card to be able to make the purchases in the first place loads of different stuff can't remember just trying to do a quick update that's kind of what was recorded but then subsequently lost sadly some good news, the VTNF that wasn't working properly after the board swap now works perfectly fine so I'm just gonna pump up the tire now. Let's take the VTNF for a test ride. I am done with the VTNF and now I'm on to the next wheel. Got a customer turned up. David, if you're watching. Gonna meet him outside because we're actually shut. But I've just got a fresh cup of tea made as well. Thankfully, I was on the emails. So I saw an email come in saying, I'm outside, need help setting up my wheel. So here I am, leaving, live, as it were. Coming to find you, actually, I might need my pass so I don't get locked out. I have another challenge today, and that's to fix a Segway. I've never touched the Segway before. So I honestly have no idea. So I really need Ian's help on this one. But let's have a look. So this is the Segway. I've just put it on charge at the moment. We were missing this key fob because it was locked. So now with the key fob we can unlock it. But still, I don't really know what to do on this thing. Never worked on one before. I'm more familiar with the electric unicycle. So working on this 9 bot Elite is a bit beyond my skill set at the moment, so um... That's that done. All good. All sorted. All set up. Tested. Good. Afternoon. Oh. oh, he's lurking in the dark room. Yes, I don't know how to fix a uh, Segway, so... Huh. I, we don't I, have any Segways. Well, there is one. There no. is... A... Oh, what, what is it? Nine it's bot. a nine bot elite, which Correct. is a segue. No. And what it is? That is a patent infringement. That's what nine bot elite is. They got taken to court by Segway. Okay. To stop them, cease and desist. Do you know what happened? Uh, nine bot bought them. Correct. Nine bot bought Segway. Yeah. That's how. And that's the end of that court case. Yeah. 
You, you have a problem, you just need Buy the company, yeah. exactly. Should we go have a little look? Yeah. And I say that allegedly, allegedly, allegedly across all the statements previously made, just in case there's any uh, liable. Allegedly. I've taken... Oh, it's cold outside. I've taken these, bi these bits off. Well done. This is very... Um, you can't see it on the grope. Whoa! It's what quite, that? It's quite... It's Mario Magic, is it? Compared to... This one is only a yeah. little bit. This okay. is from the left side which should be the problematic one the one that got stuck under the car this is the right side this is the left side oh so so you okay because the steering bar is here okay but excellent this this thing was so a question does it boot up with this key uh well it does this if does i press look? when i press the the lock this this turned on red did it for a second, yeah, when I pressed on the lock key. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've never used this thing before. It's not booting up because of the... Uh, mm. Motor. Yeah, something's knackered with that one. So that is going red, but that should, I think, it's been a long time. I think that should light up. Hmm. Right, okay. Get that out then, boys. Boom, go. Action. What? <laughs> yeah. See you later. Well, I like what they do. Don't know. See it. I can use this Allen key to undo them, and then I think hopefully then I can remove this top layer, which will reveal the electronics. And then I can have an access to the motor, which is this one here. And I can just put that in there and then see if this actually works. I have removed the top bit on the 9 bot Elite. And fortunately, I can use the same Allen key to remove these bits here. And then I think after that, I will have access to the electronics and the motors. Oh, uh-oh. One thing that I didn't expect was oil coming out of the wheel. So here we have the motor that I need to take out. Right, bit of a state of emergency. I've just uh, had Mario come through and uh, I get him going, uh, you didn't tell me there's oil in these. And I said, well, th there isn't, unless you've taken apart the gearbox. And uh, apparently he may have taken apart the gearbox. Yeah. So there's a lot of oil and then oil spill in inside the unit. I don't know how these <laughs> things work. I'm just I'm doing. Oh, you're learning now. It's an experience, isn't it? So good. You take the gearbox apart. Interesting. That's yeah. a new one. But anyway, once you so what we need to do now, I need to find another gearbox. Okay. Another machine, because now you've had to do a lot of that one. Yeah. Because one thing we've never had to hold before is gearbox oil. Yeah. Because we don't take the gearboxes apart. Well. We didn't take the gearbox part. New trend. Yeah. Trend in. Hashtag gearbox disassembly. Hashtag Mario. Uh, it's good though. Because these sorts of things he remembers then. He's like, oh, yeah, next day. This? Yeah. That's the question of the day, isn't it? And I, I pay for this. This is he keeps reminding me. <laughs> He's like, oh, if it takes me an hour or two to clean up, doesn't matter. Well done. Good stuff. Norm, I'm sure it's going to be fixed fine. Do you think we should put the nativity scene down from Christmas? Hmm, probably should do. We are going to go. He's waiting. Phone's ringing. Um, and I am going to head off. So, what is the time? Time is quarter past six. Let's go, Brucey. Ah, it's going. Going around the road. Ah, Bruce. Back. You see, this is why we don't rush out. Okay. Here, Bruce. Hey, way too far. Hey, a bit more speed. Wait.
Okay. Not happy with a couple of steps forward, but it keeps doing that, slowly pawing forward. Hmm. Morning. I'm back in the workshop and today I will try and fix my mistake with the 9 bot Elite and just clear all the oil because it's it's very messy. This is the old motor on the 9 bot Elite which I managed to get out of here and now I'm just trying to clean all the oil that has spilled in there. I managed to clear the oil of the machine and now I'll be installing the new motor and see if that makes any difference. <laughs> So I plugged in the new motor, but it was still not smooth. So I decided to try and fit in a, a new motherboard. And now with the new motherboard, the um, motor runs smoothly. So now I will also swap the motherboard and see if that will fix the issue. Guys, check this out. I think the 9 bot Elite might actually work now. So I just need to find some wheels and a steering bar and try it. I am going out for lunch with the wife. Look at this. It works. It works. These yeah. tires can't have been used for four or five years. Hope it doesn't cut off. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you a little thing where a customer came in once. Actually, friend, wasn't a customer. See that mark there and that mark there. Suspiciously, if I come up to the wall, Suspiciously, does it not look the same width as one of these machines? He got on it, turned, came along here, right? He's coming along here, went, oh dear, turned, and went into the wall. See how close this is, look, the bar won't let your wheels touch, will it? Well, he had this bar on, not this exact bar, not this machine. Years ago this was, and that's how much he went in. From there to there, I can't get any further forward than that. He was going so quick when he turned in, that the whole thing compressed, lifted right back and then got stuck up the wall and, and he had a small accident. And as you saw, the Segway works fine. Sorry, the 9-Bot Elite works fine. So now I need to kind of st strip it down again to the original uh, chassis that, that we received from Norman and then uh, we can send it back to him and hopefully he'll assemble it back together and he can continue riding. Look what we've got to now. What do you reckon this is, Mars? It says Ian plus Mario. Oh, uh, this is this is the T. This is you think it's T, do you? Yes, Scottish blend T. Or it's anthrax. What's anthrax? It's a thing that people post now to people they hate it. <laughs> you know, at least we got in together. It says Ian plus Mario. Oh, oh wow! So they bought you tea bags and got me biscuits. Oh, that is brilliant. I told you. So look. Oh, look at this. Look, border. Milk chocolate ginger biscuits with Scottish blend. Mike, how do you say Scottish blend in a Scottish accent? Could you come and do it? Scottish blend. Scottish blend. <laughs> okay, okay. Because Mike's caught a Scottish. Scottish? Are you caught a Scottish, Mike? No, 100%. You're ha no, you're not. You're either caught or half. No, I was born there. Ah. No, but in terms of genetically. Well, I don't know, he's genetically, you're born there, isn't it? It's a bit like, you know, he's an African elephant. An African elephant, if he's born in the, in the UK. UK. Exactly. So it's a Scottish blend. Right. Speedy feet. It says, Dear Ian and Mario, Ian, you're exceptionally handsome and quite muscular. I, and I, 
Is it? Does it say that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. Dear Ian and Mario. Dear Ian plus Mario. Yeah. Scottish blend, as promised. It's a damn fine cuppa. The enclosed Premier Biscuits are in no way intended to sway your opinion. Mm. But it does a little. Love your work and all the very best from Glasgow. How do you say Glasgow in a Scottish accent? Glasgow! <laughs> there we are. Kind regards, Sim. And he's drawn a nice picture of... Uh, oh, he's not going to focus. Wow, it's a Sherman, so... Yeah, Sherman. We know yeah. it is. Imagine a Sherman. <laughs> very good, thank you. We'll stick that on the back of the wall in the studio, won't we? Yeah. And then later on, we will partake in a... Um, these are the best best tea bags. Because... Well, because... All hell and threading. Wow. Chocolate biscuits, so... Ooh, well, that's quite a lot of tea. <laughs> it is. So thank you very much for sending well, that in. Specially blended for Scottish water. Uh, God, we have a problem. Yeah, we have a problem. No Scottish water. We don't have Scottish water. So we just asked Mike how many tea bags do you think was in that box because none of us took the time to actually read the box. Mario thinks. Well, I did. Need Scottish water. You need Scottish water. Well noticed. Gold star. Mario, what do you think it has in there in terms of quantity of tea bags? I would say three hundred. Street going with three hundred. I just would like to point out we're getting paid for this. So yeah, let's as always. Guessing. <laughs> There's three of us. Stood around trying to guess how many tea bags in a box. I would say, I would say it's probably two hundred. But you're going two hundred. I go two fifty. You're going two fifty. Yeah. Hmm. It's down to me now, isn't it? Yeah. Mario said three hundred. You said two fifty. Oh, you didn't say two hundred, Cameron. You said two hundred before you started, Cameron. Yeah. Right. So how? Um, so okay. I'm going to say it's either going to be one fifty or two hundred. So I'll go. I'll go. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two fifty. 250. Ooh. Well, Mike is the closest. Oh, 240. Oh, wow. 240? Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? What does he win? Got to give him a banana. And some of that free sauce that we got given. Yeah. Hot sauce and banana. Yeah. That's his uh, being closest. So can we go oh, on? I've got to clap him now. Yes. We just received a box of Scottish blend tea but we have run out of milk so now my mission is to go to the shop and get some milk so we can have a cup of tea yeah yeah okay great story time basically i went to the shop i got the milk and then on my way back there was a dpd driver that saw me and asked oh are you from speedy feet so i said yeah Oh, we have a delivery for you. So, um, yeah, um, I got the stuff for Ian. So, that is, that is multitasking. And just so cool, having a wheel, just, just random people see on, on the wheel, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's speedy feet. Quick update, 4G router, sell you. So, it's not payment to Gorban, it's a contract. And uh, that goes in there. That's gonna be internet for the shop sorted so that's for the shop for the office that you've been watching the build if you've been watching the weekly videos this is an add-on point for google wi-fi or as they now call it nest wi-fi used to be called google mesh or something like that might even still be called google mesh that is an access point to connect up to that i'm hoping it works because they've updated it since mine and it'll they're flat not rounded so hopefully that plugs in and works all okay and so that'll give access because there's no internet in the garage. On this one, Mario's take. Oh, almost lost the free stickers. Uh, Mario's taking this bad boy to local delivery. Going to drop it off. So that's pretty sweet. That goes there. Lovely. It is time to set up the studio. The studio is ready for Ian, but I have another task. I need to leave earlier today to deliver a, a wheel to a customer, so personal delivery. So it's going to be exciting. Uh, so Ian will have to do the show all by himself. So uh, hopefully he can manage. So this is Mario's um, thing and it equals hobnobs. So I've asked Mario to go and get some hobgins. That's what he calls them. 
and he's got some. So that's good. We can have him a cup of tea now. Uh, they're actually called hobnobs, but he had never heard of hobnobs before. And he came back one day and he was like, yeah, something about knobkins. So I was get some knobkins. They were a pound or something. Me and Mike were looking at him going, knobkins, knobkins. And in the end, I said to him, Mario, are you saying knobkins? And he said, yeah. And it dawned on me he might be talking about hobnobs. And he was. And so to commemorate that day, um, I wrote it on there. Because it's hilarious. I have just written a document for the handover of the shop to myself. So that includes the purchase. So purchasing the goodwill essentially first, then after all the loose ends are tied up and then I'm purchasing the stock. I made a phone call and got someone else to also review the document to ensure there's nothing stupid left out or stupid put in. Um, or any grammar, grammar errors or spelling errors or anything like that um, to go through that. So that's just been sent off to Graham who currently owns the business. Uh, there's a possibility of having the ownership transferred today. So we will see this evening, it'll be late this evening. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because I've got the live show today. Then I've got the plaster coming to quote at between 6 and 6.30 this evening at the garage because that needs plastering. And I also need to first, before we do any of that, to get the back boxes for all the sockets um, and light switches etc because they need to be cut in and put in place before the plasterer comes but he's quoting tonight so he's coming 6 or 6 30 then graham is in ross where the shop is so i need to go to his private residence i suppose um, and grab a key off him and transfer the money for the shop there and then so i should get a key back so at least i've got something physical to hold to go and actually get access to the place and then i'll be in lydney at 7 30 so yeah we'll see how that goes but we got the live show in 27 minutes. How me, Mary? That hurts. Never mind. Uh, original sim has been riding about six months. One, 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 one. There's a camera there. This is going to be in the weekly vlog as well. If you haven't checked out the weekly vlogs, do do that. Um, they're, I think I think they're slowly getting better. I'm not sure. Do you think they're slowly getting better, Mary, or worse? I, I think they're getting better. They're getting better. I think they're getting, they're getting into our little groove, I think, a little bit. I'm home now, as you can see the Bulgarian flag. So I've just delivered a 16 next to the customer. So job done. And um, yeah, that's it for me. So see you tomorrow. Right, we got to go. Because the plaster is there. So I've got to shut this off. I was waiting for the Amazon delivery to come. I had to chase him around the building because it said attempted delivery. And it definitely was not. So I found him, he hadn't even attempted to deliver. And now I've got to sprint, sprint, sprint. I should have been there a couple of minutes ago. He's been and gone, so that's good. Got that quote coming up in the next day or so. So once he's got a quote, he could do the plaster in the next week. That's as long as the garage is finished tomorrow, which is supposed to be. Pete's coming to finish it off tomorrow. Got a lot of stuff to do. We got some supplies to buy tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna grab those and then, Bruce is keen to get out of the car and then we can continue and get it plastered. Uh, I need to put all the back boxes in first before the plasterer comes, cut them out of the plasterboard and put them in. So it's all good to go. Get it plastered, then get the electrician booked in to finish off. Um, oh, I just need to get the light fittings as well. Yeah, I need to get the light fittings. I'm trying to find some shallow ones so they don't come down too too deep into the room, essentially. So I've got to get those, and then get the electrician to come around and then do the final bit of wiring up. Oh, he's got to put a consumer board in as well, a new one of them. Yeah, that I think he's probably got about two days work to do, so. Anyway, that's enough for today. Good morning, guys. I'm back at Speedyfit HQ, and today I'll be doing some filming with Mike about some paintball guns. So I'm just going to go and set up the, the showroom uh, with the fancy lights and cameras and, and all that stuff. So how are we getting on with this, I wonder? There we go. This is more than doing in here. we got... Lights off, no needs for lights. Um, we've got Pete there working, just in case he gets water on him, he's got a thing, so what they do, just in case of a water leak. And give me some stud walling finished off here, and then some insulation, plasterboard, and then OSB on the inside and outside because it makes it easier to attach things to it. <laughs> Brilliant, great, get extra views for that. Here we have the main light, and here's the camera camera number one and over there we can see Mike's stand-in. He's looking sharp. Uh, 
apart that he doesn't have pants or trousers, but it's okay. Got to go on that piece later, hopefully, because the weather's looking nice. Camera to is set up, but it is a bit challenging when you have all of those stuff in the way. So guys, if you could please buy some Rhino goo, that would be great because they're uh, taking up a lot of space in the warehouse. Morning! Good morning. Wow! <laughs> Whoa! Hello! That is a change. It is a big, around, biscuity head. <laughs> summertime is here, boys. It's not really summertime, is it? Never will happen, but... Don't try and cut your hair, otherwise you end up with none. Did you cut it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yourself? I cut it myself, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, anyone... It doesn't show. <laughs> any, uh... Black Who's market it? barbering. <laughs> I'm your man. This here is, should be, stand for the uh, iMac. 11 quid. Hey, all that. Hide that one from Marion. That way he doesn't know it's there, does he? I'll just say, yeah, I'm all sorted. Shame about you and your box. Little does he know, I got him one as well. Boom, iPad and MacBook sit under there quite nicely. There's Mars there, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, good. What are you up to? Setting up the showroom for Mike. Oh. Yeah. Look at this, look. It's a little thing that. Ah. See, so you put that on there and then I can fit the iPad Pro and the MacBook below it. Nice. Nice and tidy. Or you can just use the box. Show me how you put the MacBook Pro and the iPad underneath it. I don't have a MacBook Pro and an iPad Pro. So. You do have a MacBook. Well, not MacBook Pro, but a MacBook. That's a MacBook as well. Okay. But how do you put the MacBook? I, I keep it at home. Oh, you do? Say he's putting it under the box. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Excellent. Do you want one? Do you want one? Oh, yeah, okay. say he's put it on the box. But <laughs> going by his recent comments, I don't think he actually needs that. <laughs> So again, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, right, okay. He's like, do I have oh, to? Yeah. Do I do I have to have it? Well, yeah. um, no. Don't <laughs> but take it home. Take it home. Take it home. The answer to that is no. So I, I just take the box. Take the box home. Working, mate. It is a f in fact, I very rarely say it, but that is a pizza is... hat. No, see, put that on the live feed. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got Pete's I bottom can... from this morning, so I'm sure that's gonna mix up quite nicely. I, I, I can edit it out, no problem. <laughs> yeah, just beep it. Yeah, on the R rating. Just go beep. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a beast. And there's a Charles bike as well. Oh, that's all, Matt Mike. Looking good. Oh, we didn't get that, Mike. Do it again. No. Did it hurt your arms? You had to go on Charles, didn't you? Uh, I sat on it and it... You pulled the clutch out slightly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you qu qualify that as a goal? Yes, that is you riding a motorbike. Yes, that, that is me. See you later, love you. Bye. Gonna buy a shop. Oh, you're gonna buy a shop? Yeah. Nice. See ya. Yeah. This is all ready, so now we can ship it to the customer. And here we are, Croft Court Shopping Centre. So then we'll be going in here, and it's this one here. So, yeah, this is it. This is the boy. So this is Amy, hello. Nice to meet you. and this is Ruby. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> hello. You said hello to your daddy. <laughs> he did. So wave to the camera. <laughs> don't know why. Do you want to go in and have a look? Yeah. Excited to see. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you. What do you think? Good. Yeah. You've made a note for the till, haven't you? Yeah. There it is. Good. Right, you've got to work here, haven't you? Yeah. 
for free though, you don't get paid anything because you're a family member, so that's legal that is. We've just done some filming with Mike and he's very happy with It was with amazing. That. Absolutely but amazing. He, I got excited and I shouted down the mic. So Mr. Mario is gonna have to fix that. And that's a wrap. So I'm packing things away and I'll return to actually editing this week's vlog. We just bought a shop. We just bought a shop. Is that the we just bought a shop dance? Yes. <laughs> Should I do the we just bought a shop dance? We just, oh my back. We just bought a shop. 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 Now a mental amount of hard work starts. Well, give it a week or two until it's all finalized, but yeah. Camera for the shop. Oh. So being a break in. Maybe. Oh, he has been murdered. Oh. That's good. Door is open. Oh. Um. I thought perhaps there's been a break in and he'd been murdered. Perfect angle. Perfect. Good afternoon speaking. Earlier this morning, I did more editing on the Speedy Feet Weekly, episode 8. So now I'm having a, a bit of a break from the screen by doing some filming. And then I'll return to finish off the edit. Uh, and then Ian can come later today and just check if he's happy with the footage and then he can upload it. So this is a wrap of day 2 filming with Mike. We just shot some very beautiful paintball guns, paintball pistols and revolvers. And now I'll be returning back to video editing while Mike will be going back to... Home. Oh. <laughs> Friday, see you later. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, so I don't know if people know, but um, you, you know, if you're a Speedy Feet customer, I won't say fan, that would be a bit weird. But we, um, we've got two businesses that operate out of here. Soon to be three businesses that operate out of here. One is the painful business, so... Um, that is moderncombatsports.co.uk, get a plug in there. Um, and that just sells everything paintball. So, you know, just, yeah. Guns, masks, um, shops looking a bit bare at the moment because everything's in the warehouse. Um, and then we, yeah, we just, um, we just, so that was where we started. And, and out of that, you know, Speedy Feet was born. Um, and then you've got, so we sell things like these, um, we basically, we basically sell toys for grown-ups that haven't grown up. You know, people like us that just like to play with things. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's sort of give you some background on that. Bye. <laughs> well, it's a Saturday, and this is me. Hello. Saturday jobs. So this has been dug out already for this big old door. Let's try open it up opens out see quite far but got the plasters coming Tuesday today's Saturday I need to dig all this out so all of this needs digging out I'm gonna try and retain this really nice uh, has fruit on it which is far gone by its uh, best before date um, and this I'm gonna try and pull this out and put it somewhere else but basically it needs to run right down up to there and I've got big massive paving slabs to go all the way up and um, when I got some gravel and a new shovel stroke spade two in one type job and dig all this out down as deep as possible to put some sort of hardcore stuff like this stuff has been thrown in here along the bottom and then I'm going to top it off with gravel and put slabs on top to try and bring it up to really the damp proof no higher damp proof which is here so it's this this bit here so it can't be higher than this. So I'm gonna bring it up to this sort of level. Hopefully, thankfully it gets higher and higher as we go down so it doesn't dig so deep. But it needs doing, because the plasters are coming Tuesday. And it kinda of needs to get in and out. But it's looking good, and I'm gonna try and get the electrician to come in there. 
and I got the access point as you saw earlier to put in here to give this Wi-Fi and then what we're actually going to do as well the objector is probably going to go up here where the squiggles are and it'll sit here and have a screen come down so you can also have um, a little cinema room for the kids as well and we have movie nights so we've got movie nights in here and an office and a study Oh, you so. get me in. I'll get you in. Do you want to be in it? Yeah, yeah. I want to be in it. Yeah, you're just going to be in it, yeah. I just yeah. want to be in it for the sake of it. Okay, got nothing to say, nothing to add to it, no yeah, content. Yeah, I'll add to make sure it ready. And so the entire roof has been redone as well, by I'm the way. It used to be a flat roof. It's been lifted up by a couple of blocks, three blocks, I think. Proper trusses put in. <laughs> and so it's got loft space up there and this. So it's quite a big old job and gutter and put on. There was never any gutter or anything like that. He's and when we paint first it moved pink. in, paint it pink, yeah. When we first moved in, you can see how high up this is. This here. I had to get this built because that neighbour's garden was coming down into it. So this was actually built as a retaining wall to stop that happening. But you can see the moisture that comes in, even with proper drainage. Okay, well, this is as far as I got. Uh, my back is totally, totally screwed. So I spent an hour, maybe. I'm totally stuffed. No chance. Totally done my back in. Can't move properly now. There was stuff to do inside, putting back boxes in. But to be honest, I haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. There's supposed to be 450 mil off the floor. But the work's been done there, they've been cut down the little holes with the wires coming down at 444. So they've been cut down lower than 450 anyway, so I'll have to lower them all down to 444 at minimum. So I'm going to go out now and see if I can ride the unicycle, let my back hurt and take Bruce out. Because he hasn't been out for ages. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever, and get over to electricpeople.org. And uh, we'll see you in a week's time, apart from the live show, if you tune on Wednesday at 4 p.m. GMT. Yeah. See you next time.